Uh, welcome, everyone. We are here with Maddie Lofendel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good. Uh, we're happy to have you here. Um, we started uh, uh, watching a bunch of videos and talked about this uh, earlier off camera, mm -hmm. uh, that you have a very solid presence on uh, social media. Uh, you have so many videos just like ripping the guitar. I try. And it's pretty <laughs> cool to see you just like going like crazy with yeah. it. Um, so how did you start playing the guitar? When was this? Yeah, so I really started with piano. I started playing piano mm -hmm. when I was about six or seven. I mm -hmm. took lessons for about six or seven years from there. Mm. And then somewhere in the middle, I decided I really like to play guitar. And piano, going because I was going into high school and it was just, the workload was getting to be a lot. And piano learning classically was a lot of work as well mm. and a lot of practice time. So I decided to step back from there a little bit and that's when I picked up the guitar and just immediately fell in love with it. Mm. So. I stepped away from the piano and now I've definitely got back into it with songwriting. I started to get more into songwriting, but guitar has been a constant thing for about 10, 11 years now at this oh, point. So, wow. Okay. Um, which has been pretty much half your life. Yeah. You're 21, right? I'm 21. 20, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. That's so crazy. Yeah. Um, and did you like, uh, how did you start playing the, the piano? Was it something like your parents pushed you and but pushed yeah. you into so my whole family they love music my okay. dad grew up playing in bands so mm. he was definitely a big influence for that and everyone in my family just loves to listen to music my okay. grandparents as well they got me into music really early on just mm -hmm. listening to a wide variety of musicians and bands and just really expanding my music taste which I'm so appreciative for now yeah um but yeah, it was it was just being surrounded by it from a young age that really got me into it. And it didn't feel like they really forced me to do it. I was okay. just happy to get into it. Yeah. It was just that transition then, like moving from uh, piano to guitar, just like I prefer now guitar. Yeah. Um, and who did you start playing? Like what what were the songs or artists that you were that you started practicing on? Yeah, for me, it was the Beatles. Like, oh, honestly, yeah, of like, I loved the Beatles growing <laughs> up. And the songs are not too hard to play, but yeah. I loved their harmonies and I loved their writing. It was just brilliant. And I that's what really got me into songwriting, too, mm. was listening to the Beatles. Um, and then aside from that, it was, I really liked like classic rock music. So like CCR, Led Zeppelin, yeah. but also like Fleetwood Mac and stuff like that was yeah. what I was listening to really early on. Um but then I kind of went down the road of more Motown and like soul and stuff like that. So mm. Aretha Franklin, Stevie Wonder. Of um, course, yeah. Love that kind of music too. And I feel like that more reflects how I write, like as far as musically. Yeah. It's a little more on the soul, like funk side of things, mm -hmm. but I still appreciate classic rock so much. Yeah. Well, you have, uh, so you have two singles out. Yes. Uh, one who, one which just released uh, about a week ago. It no. was. About a month ago, just the oh. beginning of September. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's been a while. Been out for a little bit. Um, and uh, I was listening to it because you also like built uh, like a bunch of videos around the the like dropping the single mm -hmm. out, um, and like the chorus is just like super catchy. Thanks. It's super cool. Uh, I feel like it has also like really nice like back vocals, which is like so lovely. Yeah. And I guess like that maybe that can sort of um, sort of tunes into like see you wonder and mm -hmm. a little bit of Alicia Keys. I've heard that too, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, guess, I guess so. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit of Alicia Keys, which is kind of like I love Alicia Keys. Me too. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, and now who like which artists are the ones that you listen most to? Um, like what do you just like try to, you know, kick back and listen to totally right now i love this artist her name's eloise she's from the uk oh. um but she does this kind of jazz inspired almost mm. like funk pop thing which is really cool and i mm. pull a lot of inspiration from what she's doing nice and her producer for her most recent record connor albert i love what he's doing and how he produced the record so my producer and i really look into what they're doing and try to pull that into what I'm doing. But yeah, um, she's definitely a big one right now. I still feel like I always listen to those classic rock artists. Yeah. Like I, of course I still listen to the Beatles and like, I love that kind of stuff. Um, 
Well, they're but, always like nice to. It's yeah. just like a safe kind of comfort zone. You totally. Can, you know how you're how they're gonna make you feel. So it's yeah. like nice to always go back to that. Totally, and and female artists too, like Bonnie Raitt. I love Bonnie Raitt so mm. much, and like what she what she was doing. Um, yeah, there's there's just so many. I feel yeah. like it's been it's such a wide like array of musicians that I listen to, but it definitely helps with songwriting and. Which was your it. favorite Beatle? That's like <laughs> such okay. Oh. I feel like it probably goes like, or at least for me, it like it kind of changes with the season. Like sometimes I'm listening to, like yes, the Beatles, but sometimes I go to listen to a lot of like George Harrison. Mm-hmm. And sometimes just John Lennon. They all have their little solo yes, careers too. It's like, that are so and different. it's perfect, and it's like, like even though they're from. Yeah, it's just so nice. It's really yeah. nice. So I guess for me, it changes. Yeah. But I don't know if it changes for you as well. I think I have to agree with that one. It okay. definitely depends on, uh, yeah, a lot of things. Like, depends what I'm looking for, like them as people or just mm. like what they brought to the project and then what they've done since the Beatles kind of stopped being a thing. Like, yeah. it's, uh, I do like them all for different reasons. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I mean, um, if you're really like a, a true Beatles fan. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you want to make a nice cheers? Yes. Yeah, uh, so it. this is musica y mezcal. So, okay. Um, have you ever had mezcal? I have not. Okay. So uh, you don't have to chug it all. Okay. You can just it's sip like a it. sip kind of thing. That's how we do it in Mexico. Amazing. So all right. Yeah, nice cheers. <laughs> oh yeah, you do this here. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like smoky. It is. Yet still smooth. Yeah, I like that. It's like nice. Uh, yeah, mezcal is like one. Of, that's why the show is called that way because we nice. love it. <laughs> I can see why. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it's all. It also goes really good with coffee. Um, okay, it's really enough. early people, so that's why you know coffee yeah. is like, yeah. Is it still too hot? Not not really. No, it's good. It's that's perfect. Good. Yeah. Um, Okay, so uh, you draw inspiration uh, from a lot of like uh, old music. Mm -hmm. Um, It's classic music. But yeah, like, um, do you, you mentioned also you you draw inspiration from this uh, new artist. Yeah. Um, Have you ever found like emerging artists that you still feel like, oh my God, like they're doing something new and I want in? Uh, Mm -hmm. Because you're also. Um, a session musician yes so have you also drawn inspiration or like come back home drawing inspiration from a you know session you were called in into something very new or that you feel like oh like they're onto something totally I think I've been really lucky to work with quite a few different musicians around the city and I Mm. feel like every single one of them has a very different style Mm. so that's been so much fun to work with because it also challenges myself to learn different genres and Mm. like listen to different styles and that all comes back and reflects in my writing and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's. I'm just happy to be on these projects and be able to work with more people and be exposed to those different different styles. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I've kind of like a group that I've worked with a few of the members, like Bungalow, for example. Mm-hmm. Like Bungalow, the band, local band. They're fantastic. But <laughs> yes. They're very like funk and like bits of jazz and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And working with a few of them, I bring them to work on my projects with me as well. They always have amazing ideas and then they're drawing from their influences and that all reflects back onto what mm-hmm. I'm doing. And I think it's collaboration is so important and so much fun because they can, people bring ideas to the table that you could never have dreamed of. Yeah. Which yeah. is so, so cool. Even for example, the most recent song I was working on, I had a few members of that band come in to play their instruments and write some parts and the stuff that they came up with it put the song in such a different direction but like exactly where I wanted it to go nice yeah which is so so funny but I would not have been able to put it there without their help so Mm. being able to work with people is amazing and there's a lot of talented artists in the city Yeah, yeah yeah totally um yeah that's why we also started this um I mean it's just crazy to like see how many people uh, play in the streets and mm-hmm. do some busking and then play in uh, a lot of venues here. And you're just like, how is 
like how are they so talented <laughs> what's going on like is it like a gifted bubble we're all yeah. wrapped in the city like yeah um I also feel like whenever we see uh like me as an expectator mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the or the people that play in bungalow mm -hmm. like when they play together you can sort of like they have a very specific kind of like really nice vibe together yeah and then when they play their own projects it's like a different vibe that's true yeah uh and i don't know how to explain it they're insanely talented uh but whenever they play together it's like it's so much fun to watch mm -hmm. um because they're like best friends and they're yeah. so locked in it's amazing you can to tell how they yeah they're like telepathically communicating or whatever yeah and they're just like really like and they, they play with a lot of artists as well like they'll so back up many. so many artists yeah that seeing that dynamic as well is so special and like what they can bring to the table it's 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 really cool to see yeah i feel like they don't eat they probably are i feel like they're you guys are always like playing around with everyone they don't sleep i don't know what, yeah. i don't know how they're doing this i know <laughs> it is insane um we're always like kind of surprised whenever we're like trying to look for new artists and then we always find like Benjamin playing the keys here and then <laughs> yeah. uh, Alvin there. They're always playing with new artists and it's just like, yeah, it's like, of course. I mean, yeah. they're very talented. So it makes sense. Um, so it's cool. It's cool that you're surrounding yourself with um, like people that can challenge yeah. you. But I feel like you can also bring a lot to the table. Like a lot of your videos playing the guitar, like you should probably do like, I don't know, a guitar duel with yeah. Alvin. <laughs> And see what People happens. People keep saying that to me. I've been in a couple of sessions and they'll say, your playing is very similar to Alvin. I'm like, you can't say that. Like, yeah. he's so, so good. Yeah, but you're like, really good. It's, it's pretty funny. You're really, really good. Um, like, yeah. I, I would love to see that happen, you know? That would One be of really, these days, I mean, Alvin, yes. if you're out there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Yeah, we can host it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. But uh, like, yeah, you should, especially because you are on on social media like very present mm -hmm. uh you can probably do that and like yeah i'll i'll watch it over and over probably <laughs> that'd be fun yeah your videos are really good like yeah. and they're really cool social um, media social media is crazy yes it, it really does feel like a lottery to me like you can mm -hmm. post a million times and only one video is gonna do really yeah, well you yeah, know yeah and so i guess that's where a lot of people will get discouraged with which makes Being sense. Consistent. I know. And I've definitely fallen into that a few times as well. It's just kind of finding time. And yeah, I definitely yeah. need to do better. I know I need to be posting more, but for what has, like what I have posted, it's done all right. Like, yeah. it's, I'm glad that people are engaging and are interested in what I'm doing and mm. drop a follow. Like, it all helps. Yeah, end, exactly. So. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's how we found you. Yeah. Um. Because, yeah, you, well, you mentioned you're also like in a, kind of like not playing live uh right now so mm -hmm. the only way we were gonna get to you was actually by your social media yeah. so yeah you're doing great like just Thank even you. though if like some of them don't do good um I feel like it still brings to you something positive out of it because mm -hmm. you're still playing the guitar you're still practicing I just you're love still to doing, play it yeah exactly. you're still doing what you love anybody watches it exactly. I'm just happy to do it yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that's a good yeah um that's a good way of seeing it so it's like yeah it doesn't matter if Nobody watches it. Mm -hmm. Three people watch it. It's like, it's fine. Yeah. It'll be okay. Uh, you're still getting something really good out of it. Totally, so, totally. So it's cool. Um, and so now you're, so you have two singles that you dropped mm -hmm. um, and you're working on a third one or yeah. has it already, you mentioned, I think it's already done. Yeah. Right? So my third one is done. I'm just, okay. need to pick a release date. I'm thinking <laughs> sometime in the new year, I'm trying to time it all out. There's like a, a way to time things out properly and I'm mm -hmm. still trying to figure out how that is supposed to go because I feel like I'm still pretty new with all of this stuff. Mm. Um, and I just wrapped up, almost finished my fourth song as well. So I'm hoping, I think over the next few months, I'm going to be in and out of the studio, mm. getting a few more songs done. And then I'm looking to drop an EP or maybe an album at that point, like spring next year. Okay. So we're getting close. I yeah. just need to get in the studio when everyone's free and like get the rest of the songs recorded. So. Yeah. Sounds really good. I've, yeah. I'm very excited. You have like really, I mean, I know it's just two singles, but um, they're just really good to listen to. Like really, Thank really you. fun and uh, catchy. And yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, they're really just nice. Um, 
so yeah, I feel like it's, it's like, it's going to be awesome. Um, are you also planning on, uh, like working, like this is to build something mm -hmm. like for an eventual EP, as yeah. you mentioned off camera. Um, but do you want to, are you also going to be working on something like a specific like album next year? Or are you just more like, I'm just going to focus on this first and then I'll see where yeah. this takes me. I'm going to kind of see where it goes. I'm going to finish up these last few songs. Mm -hmm. um, see if everything makes this project. It kind of just depends, I guess, what the songs end up being about and how they end up in the end. Mm -hmm. How it's going to fit on this project. And if every song that I record will end up there. Um, but I'm hoping to get just a piece, like a project out of maybe five to seven songs or so okay before the spring around springtime so that i have some material to hopefully start getting into that live setting a bit more over the yeah. summer um yeah i just, i'm at this point now where it would be really fun to play these songs live so putting together a band and you know starting to think about some venues and everything would be so much fun for the summer and you also uh i saw you were also working with an emmy nominated uh producer yes uh was this for for the the three songs that you have now yes. or for the three of them yes okay, so wow. jeff his name his name's his jeff, name jeff, jeff yeah. Zip. we love jeff him and ben co-produced my stuff so okay um the first song i released fault line i had recorded with ben for the most part we did all the production in his studio and then he introduced me to jeff and jeff mixed it and then we sent it off to master whatever mm. um moving forward we've been doing everything out of jeff's studio so the two of them co-produced everything okay. and um it's very collaborative it's very fun to work with the two of them and then we'll bring in some other members of bungalow to track bass or drums yeah, or whatever yeah. it is um but yeah jeff jeff is great it's been really fun to work with the two of them so nice yeah. uh which i also didn't know until i saw one of your videos that benjamin also plays which makes sense um he also plays drums and plays uh guitar and bass he plays everything everything yeah <laughs> yeah i thought you just plays played keys because i would always see him play keys yeah but it was on one of your videos i was like oh he plays everything well that makes sense yeah like, of course <laughs> yeah um which was very crazy it's um fun. do you are you feeling um like trying to i don't know what I, uh, are you feeling like drawn to play another instrument besides guitar definitely i feel like more recently i've definitely brought a lot more piano into my writing mm. just Usually I'll sit down and write a song at the guitar, but now I'm trying to get better at piano. Mm -hmm. Also, Ben has recently been giving me some like music theory lessons oh, nice. and teaching me everything on the piano. So we've been really getting into that more, which has helped a lot in mm -hmm. my writing, um, just knowing how everything works and how things make sense together mm -hmm. um, has helped a lot because like I would do things but I wouldn't be able to really explain what I was doing in like theory terms so yeah. he's been like showing me how to do that which is kind of funny like what you're doing is called this and yeah you're, and you're like, like oh <laughs> yeah you're like this is so funny you're like doing this but you don't know why or what you're you don't know how to explain this to me I'm like I don't know it makes sense in my head <laughs> exactly exactly yeah like musicians logic I guess uh natural musicians I guess yeah. so <laughs> yeah um and um, like besides, uh, getting into piano, mm -hmm. um, with your, uh, own writing, uh, how did you, like you mentioned earlier that you sit down and you usually get the guitar to write a song. Mm -hmm. Um, do you still do like first the melody or do you do lyrics first? Like what, what's your process? Yeah, it really depends on the song. Sometimes okay. I'll write some lyrics just that I think sound good and I'll sit on them for like years until I come up with a melody that fits with them or okay. a story like it really depends on the song sometimes mm -hmm. I'll have a really cool guitar riff I'll come up with and then I'll sit on that for months because I'd never come up with lyrics for it and yeah, then eventually okay. just pull from both things and piece things together mm. um so it yeah the process is always different with every song I feel so okay and do you uh like I guess uh like those singles that you have out some of the melody and the lyrics are kind of mm, like go together. Cause even though, I mean, you're talking about like love or mm -hmm. like, uh, the first one is more, a little bit more like everyone or like a breakup, like a breakup. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like walking. Uh, but it's still like, I feel like the melody and lyrics still go along. Do you, have you ever found yourself like, I want to do this, like these lyrics, but with a melody that does, that has nothing to do with it to be like, you know, just sarcastic or. Yeah. I think that could be really fun. I like to challenge myself to mm. 
to do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like I've been inspired by this one recent, well, not super recent anymore, but this one breakup and all of my songs are, I'm pulling, I'm going to pull inspiration from that (laughs) for as long as I can. But I feel like this like body of work that I'm going to release as like this full project is kind of going to be on theme with that. And then it's like, that's my closure. I'm like, all right, we're done. We're just going to throw that aside. And then I can start experimenting with different things. Yeah. Yeah, But I feel like this storyline and this inspiration has been very motivating motivating yeah. for me <laughs> giving you drive <laughs> which is great <laughs> yeah exactly uh and once once they're out do you feel now like oh now I've actually you know like I can sort of now see the emotion I was going through and just feel like not feel nothing but just mm-hmm. feel like oh you know, grateful that it's there yeah. and it's done. Totally. That's okay. exactly how it's been feeling, which is just fantastic. Oh, perfect. <laughs> like, yeah. I kind of like put down, write down everything that I'm feeling and then I can just like close it in that song and then I put it aside. It's and like, then, it's just a song now. Yeah. It's just a song. All those emotions at that time are like captured in this song, but I'm in a very different place now and mm. everything I feel about that situation and the person have completely changed which is really cool to look back on and remember how it was feeling when I wrote the song and then mm. knowing now that it's completely different. Nice. <laughs> so yeah. that's kind of fun. Um, does any of your friends know like what it's like, what it's about or who's is about? Who's is it about? Yeah. Well, Ben certainly knows because he <laughs> was in the studio with me the whole time. <laughs> so he's got the full story. Um, <laughs> I hope the guy that this is about isn't watching, doesn't watch this. <laughs> I told him I wouldn't say anything. Um, okay, let's... Shh. Everyone, don't say anything. Don't okay? say anything. It's fine. It's so long ago. It doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, Ben definitely knows, which is funny. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about it and he'll still down the road be like so how like how's that going is you know how, how are you doing now like talk to anybody else and he's like <laughs> kind like, of interested <laughs> now just hilarious <laughs> so yeah I guess it's funny um and uh besides like that thing do you still draw inspiration about other situations in life totally. like you mentioned you've like you've r- written uh other songs um and you have like you sit on them for years or whatever mm-hmm. uh where have you drawn inspiration from with a those. big thing that I drew inspiration from was when I when I got out of high school my best friend moved across the country oh. so that definitely was some inspiration mm. for you know kind of that acceptance of, of a big change and distance and I feel like that even shines through in the last couple songs that I've mm. put out um the the relationship was also long distance that a lot of these songs oh, are about so yeah. that whole like concept of being far away from somebody that you don't want to be far away from that you really care about it there's a lot to write about that yes that was definitely one thing um more recently I just actually the most recent song I was recording just a couple weeks ago it was with a friend of mine from California another Mm. long distance friendship so there's (laughs) a lot of that in my life um but he came up here and we worked on this song together and he's going to be featured on the track which is really cool oh nice and the concept is very different because him and I are just best friends. We can't like, it's hard to write like a love song because it just yeah. isn't, doesn't check out for the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but we wrote about the idea of seeing people around you pursuing these big careers and everyone's kind of a step ahead of you or like feeling like you are a step behind. Yeah, like you're left behind. And, and- yeah, and it's kind of like, like not being complacent with where you're at. Yeah. Like always kind of wanting more, but not knowing how to get there kind of thing. Because you still sort of don't know what it is that you want. And you just see it in other people and you're like, why mm-hmm. am I not there? I, I don't think it's, want that. It's but like totally. It's really easy to kind of play a comparison game with yeah. even other musicians. I try not to, yeah. but it's hard when you see people like playing these big venues that are like even younger than you. And you're like, oh. Like how, how are like, you what? so far How dare ahead? you? <laughs> it's just like, I'm so happy for them. It's amazing to see, you know, this generation doing really cool things. Um, but this feeling of like, oh, maybe if I post some more on social media, I would get more attention. Or maybe <laughs> if like I could, you know, write a more song, write more songs and I can play some shows and start mm-hmm. building an audience and kind of just knowing that there's more that you can do, but not knowing how to get there. Yeah. So we wrote a song about this whole concept, which is kind of fun. So it'll be, I'm excited for people to hear that one. Nice. It's also a very different feel musically, I guess, mm-hmm. as my first two songs is a little bit slower. We pulled a lot of inspiration from 
like 70s R&B kind of stuff. Oh, nice. But also like Silk Sonic almost. Okay. So okay. it's like if Silk Sonic met Bill Withers kind of thing <laughs> and like the Bee Gees a little bit. So nice, nice. It's, it's going to be fun. It's a little it's a little different, but I'm excited to get that one out. Uh, and how long did you take or did it take you to write that song? So the my friend and I, I had gone down to California at the end of September mm-hmm. and we had actually a whole different song that we were planning on finishing up. And I got there and we're like, you know what, let's just, let's start a new one. So we, <laughs> we decided to just sat down and we started, I had this chord progression mm-hmm. and this melody and we started just writing lyrics and it happened really fast. And I love it when that happens because yeah. it doesn't usually go that way. <laughs> so within like two days, we had the majority of the song written and then he came up here. We had one evening to finish it and then we were in the studio at 10 a.m. the next day. Mm. So it really took like three days <laughs> to get this okay. song done, which is, <laughs> which is crazy. Great. That yeah. never happens. But yeah. Hopefully people like it. (laughs) And so when you wrote that song, like, um, and you mentioned about like comparing yourself, does he feel the same way? Like looking at you and feeling like left behind and Mm -hmm. then you feel the same way looking at him and you being left, you feeling left behind. Yeah. Well, he's, he's in a, he plays a lot in the music scene down in like Orange County, just outside of Los Mm -hmm. Angeles. And there's other people his age that are already in LA, like doing really cool things. And he's like, I want to be there, but I just don't know how to get there kind of thing. So it is relatable in a sense. Like, yeah, totally. We're both able to get on that topic and write about it. So it worked out pretty well. I mean, and I feel like comparison is like kind of weird. I feel like it doesn't really, because it draws competition out Mm -hmm. of people, which is like sometimes, you know, or competition is like good Mm -hmm. because it, like motivates you and pushes you to you know totally it gives you drive yeah uh but I guess it's just like how you look at it and what you do with it I mean uh Picasso used to compare himself with Matisse and Matisse with Picasso Mm. like very constantly and they would like sort of like compete with themselves yeah and I mean maybe if they hadn't like shared the same you know like experience Mm -hmm. uh, throughout their lives maybe we wouldn't have their art now. true yeah so i think it's it's definitely healthy to a certain extent to yeah. feel a little bit of competition but if you are constantly comparing yourself to people also everyone's different in this industry yeah. especially yeah. like with music everybody's so different mm-hmm. their style's going to be different it's it's hard to compare yourself to other mm-hmm. people when you're doing something so unique yeah so yeah it's definitely an interesting concept to to battle with but there is a a certain amount that that's that that healthy competition where you, yeah. it drives you to to work harder and pushes you forward and like if you compare yourself and not to push yourself down i yeah. guess that that like that might be good mm-hmm. uh but it's kind of hard not to get caught into those thoughts of like like what the hell like yeah. how are they better than me it's like no they're not better they're not better it's just, just different just different yeah and, and or and yeah maybe they are better at you and this mm-hmm. like but you're not like that doesn't mean you won't get there. Totally. Um, yeah, it's like, oh, they're better right now. Yeah. I do find that not playing, always. Like, no, yeah. I do find also with this music scene and being in Vancouver, it feels like everyone is very welcoming. It doesn't really mm. feel like people are like trying, trying to, to push better. you down. Yeah, or anyone's trying to be better than anybody else. It's very everyone's been so welcoming and collaborative. And collaborative, like, totally. Yeah. And that has been such a fun experience because everyone's excited to work with you mm. and yeah it, they kind of like bring everyone to this like equal level of like we're all here we're all gonna help each other out we're gonna work together and I love that like it's so cool to be part of that yeah 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 I feel like that probably uh says a lot of like Vancouver's music scene mm-hmm. uh the fact that as you mentioned like it's very like welcoming and collaborative um because we can see as we just mentioned earlier, like you can see Alvin playing with everyone. Mm-hmm. You can see ben- Benjamin playing with everyone. Totally. Um, you're also like a session musician playing with a lot of other musicians. So yeah, it's like, yeah. it's really cool that you can see that. And it's like, it's, mm-hmm. it's yeah, it's great. And, yeah. You know? And every little pocket of it too, like there's different artists that I've worked with that play in very different styles. Mm-hmm. And it's cool to be welcomed into each of those little communities within this big community yeah yeah, yeah. and there's always these little crossovers like everyone knows everybody from like in some way or another but they still kind of have their separate things yeah which is really cool to kind of work with these individual artists and learn their style and then see how everything kind of crosses over and 
bring what you have to the table, but also leave with learning so much more about mm-hmm. a different genre and a different artist. It, I think it overall just makes you a better musician and you appreciate more um, when you have an opportunity to collaborate with more people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. Um, you're very mature for your age. <laughs> <laughs> like you have a very nice, like chill way of like looking at things, which is really cool. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> I try. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, besides now these like three songs. Yeah. Um, do you plan to work on like a videos for those for those songs or because you have a well so you have a video for I don't have any videos yet oh no. I was assuming you did because there's like a loop on your Spotify for the I just put that like, okay, okay. <laughs> I put that together I was like oh that's probably maybe there. from a video that she's already working that would on. be cool <laughs> yeah because it looks really like yeah I know it's a loop and mm-hmm. it's like you know like I don't know 15 seconds or whatever. yeah yeah but it looks good it looks like solid so I was like oh maybe cool. she's drawing it from like yeah, a yeah. video that she's she was, already has and hasn't finished. finished it was or something. some uh, some clips from a photo shoot, and then actually I didn't end up using any of the photos from that particular oh. photo shoot. <laughs> so like, well, I got to put them somewhere. So like, yeah. let's make a little canvas for my Spotify. Like, it's fine. And um, just some behind the scenes stuff I got from in the studio. Mm. I try to get as much of that as I can, just because it's fun to look back on. Yeah, um, a video would be cool for this next single. I would love to do a video for it. I'm just trying to find the budget for it yeah. really it just I know I can do it on a budget there would definitely be ways to do that mm. it's just a lot it's a lot more work so I would yeah I'd like to I think if I find I'm going to start network networking with some more people that um know a bit more about that mm-hmm. I've been talking to a few friends of mine who have done videos and they've mentioned some names so it'd be really cool to to put something like that together I'd really yeah. like to. Yeah, yeah. Like that can totally give you, you know, more material for totally. social media and in general. Just, That's very true. Yeah. Um, uh, what else did I want to... Oh, yeah. Like what are... So you're building these, uh, like the songs for the EP, for, you know, an EP mm-hmm. uh, before the summer. Uh, what, what, like, where do you want to play on, like in summer, during summer? Oh, man. I don't, I don't even really know yet. I'm still trying, like I've been to quite a few venues around. I always try to catch my friends playing live. Mm -hmm. I just love to support them and also their music's just great. Yeah. Um, I would be really, it'd be really fun to play Guilt and Co, which is right, right in here. Yeah. It's pretty close. I might be playing there, I think at the end of this month on guitar for another artist. So Mm -hmm. just doing some session stuff there, but it would be fun to maybe get an early show to do my material, which would be cool. Um, so that's definitely one that would be fun. I mean, how many songs, like how many songs do you have right now that like not necessarily recorded, just like songs that you have like, you know. Yeah, about I would say about seven or eight at this point. And then covers. I could always do some covers if yeah. to fill some time. Um, yeah, that would be a fun place to play. That was one of the first venues I started going to just mm. to meet some people it's actually where I met Ben for the first time which is cool oh wow um yeah I caught one of his shows a couple years ago and yeah that was the first time that I met him and then I actually talked to him at that show and then uh, two weeks later we booked a session in the studio so it was like really crazy how that happened um so I'd love to play there um yeah I mean this summer if there's any sort of outdoor kind of stuff like just small little festivals or things like that would be so fun to get on a bill like that Mm. just to play for a lot of people outside yeah. sounds like a good time so have you done busking I have done like, a little busking yeah. yeah in the past just by myself like a few years ago and that that's always a fun time yeah it's cool when people stop and like yeah. hang out for a bit so totally, yeah yeah you yeah. can probably I feel like it's also a good way to like workshop your songs I know it's it's not necessarily something that will give you uh I don't know like the um, it won't lay out like how your music is gonna go Mm -hmm. but it is a nice way to just like workshop it in general like you can listen to yourself how it sounds live yeah um and you can obviously catch some of like live reactions to it totally it's just testing it out to see how people react yeah exactly so um so it'd be cool to catch you somewhere yeah sometime during the summer just doing some busking yeah totally yeah and yeah i'll definitely stay yeah (laughs) amazing um and now that you're um sorry that you're also doing some session um being a session musician how Mm -hmm. long have you done this for um since 
last spring, I okay. would say. Yeah, I, I think the first show I did was with, with Kate Yawn. Oh, okay. I, we played at Tyrant Studios with Yamil, the, the bass player in Bungalow, mm. and then Emmett Jerome. I think he's done, he's playing all over the place, yeah. like with him too. <laughs> they're, they're fantastic, but we did a, a little show there. I just played acoustic guitar, and then recently I've been working with an artist. Um, his name's Ryan. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. So him and I have been doing some stuff. I think I'll actually. He's really good, also. Yeah. He has like this really nice. It's so fun. Like, pop, pop songs. Totally. And, yeah. So we've done a few little collabs together, a couple little videos of us playing covers, and then we're going to try to write something together soon, too. Oh, um, it'll be fun. Yeah. So I, I'm excited for that. He, he's very fun. So yeah, I've been doing some stuff for him. He's trying to get a few more shows lined up. And so hopefully get a chance to play some guitar for him then. Um, yeah, and then another big thing has been, I don't know if you've heard of the Project Van City, which is this big music collective, like this community of musicians. And mm. it's that's been amazing. Like they, they put on these really cool shows and it's all in an effort for musicians to meet more musicians. Oh, so yeah. It's a really cool thing that they're doing. Um, so I'm on a project with them coming up later this month we're playing a show with the Biltmore Mm. um and it's all like girl bands versus boy bands nice (laughs) so we're playing all these throwbacks it's gonna be so much fun so I'll be on guitar for that but everyone they have involved are incredible musicians and that's been so amazing to be a part of because from that I've met a lot of great people that I've now been able to collaborate with Mm. one of them being Ryan which is really cool Mm. so yeah just just any opportunities there are to to network and and meet more musicians usually brings some opportunities for me to play some more shows as yeah. well. Like, so that's been really great. Are you playing in this show? Is it like girls, like girl bands versus boy bands, but like only women playing the girls and, or is it, so, or is it going to be mixed? It's like, gonna, how we're doing it is there's going to be a band. So I'll play in the band mm-hmm. and then we have some female vocalists and then the male vocalists, but the girls are going to sing the boy band songs oh, and nice. the boys are going to sing the girl band songs. <laughs> So it was a lot of transposing on my part to get the right key for yeah. everyone to be able to sing the songs. Um, but it's going to be really fun. I'm excited. Okay, nice. Yeah, sounds like fun. Yeah. Um, what other like events have you done that where you've met other musicians? Or, yeah, like events or, you know, like meetups? Yeah. Or... So the Project Van City has been a huge one. They do mm-hmm. a lot of fun events, even outside of music, where we can just hang out as just, and become friends, which has been mm-hmm. really cool. Um to kind of build those relationships outside of like being in a studio setting Mm -hmm. and like having to do that. Um, Yeah, so I've done a few sessions with them. And then the the best way of meeting people is honestly just going to shows and like inviting more people to come out. Like I'm just so happy to support all these people that are doing really cool things. Um, Yeah, so just like spreading the word about other musicians, sharing that on my social media as well so that hopefully yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it's kind of like, I want to help all these musicians yeah. reach a bigger audience as well. And I feel like we all kind of do that for each other, which is really great. Mm-hmm. So going to shows has been a big one for meeting more people as well. Where do you great. go usually, like besides Guilt and Go? Um, um, yeah, I've seen a few shows at the Biltmore now, a mm-hmm. few at the Fox. Um, mm-hmm. The Pearl, I just saw a couple of shows there over the summer. And then, yeah, there's a few different festivals that were happening, so just some like street fairs and stuff like mm-hmm. that, where a few of my friends have been playing. So anywhere I can see people yeah. play, it's just has been great. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, what do your parents say? Like, because you're like you're a full time musician now. Um, like, are your parents encouraging you? Do you feel like they're like yeah, someone you oh, can? Yeah. So I can also draw inspiration from totally. So I am working part time at a music store. So really, it is full time music. Um, So that I'm just doing sales, but like I do do that part time. But it still is always music because you get into the technical yeah stuff. You know, and then um, yeah, just doing all these sessions. I mean, I don't see them as often because I'm kind of always out of the house and Mm -hmm. like I'm always. at different sessions and like I live over in Surrey so it's like a little bit of a drive to come downtown all the time but they're so supportive it's it's great Mm -hmm. and my dad being someone that's played in bands all his life him and his friends will still get together and do covers and stuff so I'll sit in and play keys and guitar for them sometimes nice which is great so like aside from all this work that I'm doing with these musicians out here I like play in his cover band which is really fun that's so cool yeah so it's always in the family we always 
are listening to music and rehearsing and talking about it and it's it's really fun what does your dad play he plays the bass nice yeah nice um does he sing like where did when did you like how did you realize you could sing was it because like some of like your parents or someone in your family sings and then you're like oh I bet I can sing I, I don't I don't know I think I think I always just sang along to whatever mm -hmm. I was listening to all the time yeah and so it just I just decided to kind of take it a little more seriously and uh -huh. stick with it. Like if I was going to be writing music, I should probably figure out how to sing so that I can yeah, yeah. <laughs> piece it all together. Um, yeah. But everyone's always been so encouraging. Mm -hmm. My grandparents too. I, I grew up, they did like my daycare when I was little. My parents mm -hmm. both worked in the city. Mm -hmm. So they were big music listeners and we'd always have music on in the house. And so they were always very encouraging as well. Mm -hmm. So it's been amazing just having that encouragement from like the day I was born to do something in music yeah. has been very nice. That's so crazy. Um, I mean, or if, I don't know if it's crazy. Um, my grandmother, uh, I like to paint or draw and, cool. uh, yeah. and my grandmother was one who would usually always get me into or not usually she was all the only one and that always got me into like uh painting classes nice. and drawing classes and uh she got me into a creativity class and um bought me you know like art stuff art supplies and mm -hmm. uh yeah and she she all she liked to dance a lot oh, cool. so she would dance like um flamenco uh, and then she would dance like regional mexican uh music uh so she would always take me when i was like i don't know like four years old or six years old like really young to all of her dancing cl like classes and lessons um and it was always nice because i knew that without her telling me it didn't matter what i wanted to be later when mm -hmm. i grew up like i knew i would like have her support totally and that's um, the best yeah because yeah. you you don't have to be told you're just you just know because they're sort of also in that same like mindset mm -hmm. um, like your grandparents like always listening to music so totally when it's always there it's like yeah just a matter of time mm -hmm. and my parents have always said to me too like if you love what you do if you love what you're doing you'll never like work a day in your life yeah you know like yeah, you're just yeah. having fun like it doesn't feel like work it's just fun you know yeah so if you can build a career out of that then you're winning like that's the best case scenario so i love that they've been so supportive of that and have you know made it so that i can do this so it's really it's really great yeah um that's awesome uh what are your plans also besides you know this uh releasing the song uh, you mentioned you're starting to look into like a uh, video, mm -hmm. like maybe something for, yeah. Um, are you planning to do like a video for your first single or are you going to do it for like maybe three of the songs or? Yeah, I think I would love to do a video for this next unreleased song. Okay. I think it'll be the next Maybe the next one I put out, it kind of depends how mm, the... How if, if it comes all together. If it all comes together in time, yeah. I'd love to do a video for that. Um, I haven't thought too much about videos for mm. the songs that have already been released. Um, but that would be really cool if I could piece something, something together and I had the budget to make it happen. Um, that would be really sweet. But definitely this, this next song would be very fun to do a video for. So... Yeah, I think just like moving forward, I'd love to get a video at some point. It would be so much fun. Um, and then just playing live. Once yeah. the, once these songs are out, I want to like get on a stage and start like sharing these songs with people in a live setting. I think nice. it would just be so much fun. Nice. Um, I also wanted to ask you something. Um, do you want to, um, or not to, if, do you want to, like, uh, I know some musicians do this like, when they whenever they put something out or before they put something out they do these like i forgot the name um where you get everyone in a room and then you like sort of play the song uh, for them before they you do like the whole thing oh, okay i yeah. don't remember the name I don't know there's a name there definitely is but you know what i'm I talking about right mean. Yeah. like you have like you have this reunion and then you invite like 20 people or 10 people or five and like people. celebrate the song coming up before yeah it comes out and then yeah 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 that'd and be so, so much fun and then you get like comments on it yeah but, yeah you know but like from people you love so yeah. it's not necessarily like 
I'd love to do that. I mean, I, I, it's probably still terrifying, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So yeah. You, um, that would be really like cool. That would. Once you have like your whole like EP. Yeah, do like a uh, listen through. That'd yeah, be so great. Yeah, that would be really cool. Um, cool. Um, do you have any other... Um, well, you don't have any live shows coming up, you mentioned. Um, but do you have any other like plans uh, that you want to talk about, that you want to discuss and you want people to know? Oh, man. I really, it's really kind of up in the air where it's going to go until mm -hmm. this EP is out. Yeah. So right now I'm just going to get in the studio, finish up these songs, and then I guess I'll start building a roadmap of where I'd like to set some goals for after that, mm -hmm. like where I'd like to play and um, people I'd like to work with and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So right now it's really, I'm just really trying to, to, uh, finish up these songs yeah, and get yeah. a piece of work out there so that everyone can can listen to it but yeah I mean definitely would like to start being more consistent on social media as well just mm -hmm. posting some content whether that's covers or clips of originals or behind the scenes stuff so if anyone's interested in that then yeah. you know where to find me yeah. on social media <laughs> that'd be so great to you know I mean that, that that can pay off eventually like it, it probably will and it's probably already paying off there's this uh, I don't know if you know this French artist her name is Angel mm -hmm. and she the way she started was basically just posting a bunch of her playing and singing on social media and then That's, she just like crazy boom, how that she works. just like yeah. exploded that's happened for quite a few people yeah. and it's amazing it's and just a bunch of videos of yeah. the same you know like the same thing over and over of her singing and like not nothing really you know like glamorous or whatever mm -hmm. uh and then yeah she just exploded and it's then just the consistency yeah, of it, yeah yes exactly and then her music her first musical videos i think were like you know, like a friend of hers, you know, kind of like the mm -hmm. same story you're, you're, um, you're going through right yeah. now, like uh, a friend of hers or like a friend of a friend of hers, you know, did some video, like very, you know, like low budget for YouTube. Yeah. And then it caught on YouTube because she had already built, you know, something on Instagram. So, totally. and then, yeah, it just, she exploded and now she's like huge. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you won't know unless you try, like yeah. anything could happen. Yeah. So it's, your best bet is to just put something out there because yeah. you never know what could happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's not French though. I think she's, or she's Belgian or, you know, okay, or cool. yeah, or French. I'll check that out. Um, that yeah. Cool. She's, yeah. she's really, I like her music. She's like, it's French pop, uh, but it's, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's really cool. Like if you know, or you don't know French for whoever wants to listen to new mm -hmm. music, it's still like really nice to listen to. She's like, she's really good. Nice. Um, cool. yeah. And she has one song also like that. She got like a bunch of pushback, uh, that talks about feminism. Then she made a video on it uh, and it's really good. But then her brother, I think got caught up in a big like scandal. Mm -hmm. So everyone was like, like hey why don't you do anything about your brother like you know yeah um but she has like really cool style with her cool. videos she has this whole i don't know how to describe it but like you can tell it's her video without her on it that's cool yeah like you can still kind of find like that style in her um yeah and she has a like really sweet voice nice uh so she has like really nice music you should check it out cool. i will for yeah. sure yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that sounds amazing yeah if you can draw inspiration from anyone totally like, yeah, yeah. yeah and the more artists people tell me about the better like, yeah i yeah, love yeah. listening to new artists yeah like, my favorite thing is finding how, new music. how much do you spend like how much time do you spend like playing guitar like practicing practicing well working part-time at a music store mm. I'll usually have a guitar in my hand like when there's no one in the store I can yeah. just practice which is great <laughs> so um sometimes I'll do that but yeah it's definitely a daily thing like I gotta play guitar at some point during mm. the day or piano or both like it's just the time to like unwind after like a long day mm. or if I have a break in the middle of the day it doesn't feel like a chore to me like it's just fun and I love playing guitar and learning new things and I feel like in the last few years, I've really got more into jazz music as well. Mm. Um, so jazz guitar is like a whole other thing. Like it's, <laughs> it's so a whole world. It's a whole world. world it's yeah. <laughs> amazing. And I'd love to keep getting better at it. So I feel like, yeah, music is one of those things that you could spend your whole life practicing and learning, but you're still like not going to know everything, yeah. which is why it's so like, it's so fun for me to do. It's so rich. Yeah. Cause you, there's always more you can learn. So diving into different styles and, For me recently, it's been jazz, but I love jazz music so much. I mm. even try to pull some of that 
in, pull inspiration from that into my music as well. Um, but it's been fun just being able to learn. So when I do have time, like downtime, I just want to keep learning and <laughs> keep yeah, practicing. Nice. So well done. Yeah, yeah, I guess it. I guess it shows. Like um, you should. You guys should definitely check her out. She is insane with the guitar. She plays really good. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I hope you just get better. You just get yeah, better and better. That's the that's the goal. I hope yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anything else you would like to add before we? finish our Man, I, I, don't know, I feel like we, <laughs> we kind of covered everything that's going on like that's a that's about what's happening yeah yeah if you want to drop your um your social media so people can check you out yeah totally so any social media or any stream platforms it's just maddie loffendahl um you can find me anywhere <laughs> which so. her last name i asked before how to pronounce it because i wasn't there's some For silent sure, letters yeah. it's <laughs> i know i totally get it it's okay um yeah it's loffendahl so yeah and everyone yeah. will know so. yeah <laughs> um well uh this is the end of our tat Yay. we're gonna cheer nice nice maddie everyone thank you cheers thanks for having me thank you for being here <laughs>